Hey everyone, welcome to Raspberry Getaways. I'm Robert and this is Melissa. Uh, welcome and thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the Royalton Sheik in Cancun, adults only. Well, he forgot the most important person here. <laughs> this is our youngest bulldog, Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean Raspberry. We have another one. He won't sit here for us. She's about to fall asleep. I don't know how well she's going to behave, behave with us, but um, she's joining along on the fun. Um, yeah, so the Royalton Sheik in Cancun was amazing. Um, obviously, you can see we're not there now. We're in winter clothes. We're all bundled up. It is frigid cold here in Ohio um, where we are. And, you know, every time I have to take the dogs out, take them out to the bathroom, all I think about is the beach. The beach at Cancun and how much fun we have there. A really quick rundown. I have notes here so I don't get it wrong on the um, Royalton Sheik in Cancun. It has 458 suites, six bars, the Royal Spa, nine restaurants, four swimming pools, and fitness facilities. So we're gonna do a really quick run through. We took some video, we're gonna narrate on the video, tell you what we're looking at, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss uh, what we liked, what we maybe didn't like, if there was anything, his favorites, my favorites, um, and any other information we think that we'd like to share with you. So here's the entrance to the Royalton. Um, here is where your private airport transfer will stop. Um, just a really nice picture of the front there. They have a great concierge service and baggage service. Um, they will, right when you get there, they'll definitely help you out. It's really friendly. Right here is an outdoor area. They have a lot of concerts and different, different venues. Uh, every night it's different. I've heard they've had fireworks there. We didn't see them there, but they, I've heard that they do fireworks as well. Um, all kinds of different cool events. Also, they have an Italian restaurant right around the corner as well. So here's your baggage check all your transfer services. And then here is the entrance to the lobby. Um, a lot of times they'll already be right there waiting for you with the welcome drink. Um, and for Diamond Club, you'll go down a hall, which I'll show you in just a second, they will, they'll give you a welcome drink from there. So here's your lobby. Right there is your normal check-in. Um, but if you're doing Diamond Club, there's a different check-in, which I'll show you in just a second. Beautiful lobby. Lots of seating as well. So right around this corner, you're going to see a door or a hallway, I should say, right there, go down and to the left and they'll take you there. You won't be by yourself. Uh, that's where your Diamond Club check in and that's where you get your butler service. They have a nice little lobby. You get drinks and snacks and hors d'oeuvres and all those kinds of things. It's really cool. This is what I mean by wow factor. This is the first thing you see when you go in the lobby, that beautiful ocean, palm trees. It's just amazing. Again, lots of seating um, right around up here. You're going to see to the left um, the elevators uh, further away, which you're going to see a little bit more as well is the shopping um, and, and, and what Melissa mentioned earlier. It's marble floors everywhere. So just be careful, um, especially if you're coming out from the beach and you're wet and there's water, you may slip. So just be just be careful. Uh, two things in the video. Um, you're going to notice masks. Um, at the time we were there, we were all still wearing masks. Um, and um, obviously that that's a constantly changing situation that um, I recommend you check before you go. Second thing, this was not a planned video where it looks like no one's around. This, this uh, hotel's full. There's a lot of people here. Uh, there are moments where the lobby has some coming and going. This was the morning time, so that's why you're not seeing so many people. Um, so it got, a, it gets busy. Uh, you know, everybody's wanting to sleep in when they're in Cancun. So you're going to see late afternoon in the evenings, people start showing up. But also you can also relax. I mean, if, if you're the type you want to take a book down there and read, it's not so, it's not a uh, spring break, 1988 party central. <laughs> right, you know, there right, are right. some quiet moments if you really want it, particularly in the morning. So this is the outdoor area I mentioned. Here's the shopping, really nice shopping. Um, the typical stuff, you know, sunglasses and jewelry and all those things. But they also have a little area you can get some of the uh, souvenirs and stuff like that. This is the outdoor area. They have all kinds of things going on. Every night they're going to have things going on. Really, really cool. Real festive out here. Um, here in a second, you're going to see the area I mentioned about the Italian restaurant. It's right there. They have outdoor seating and indoor seating. I will tell you the outdoor seating, it can get a little windy. So I, we were out there and we decided to move we inside. Did, yeah. I, I remember that. Uh, maybe it's not all the time, but I did notice it was really windy out there in the evenings. So we didn't buy any of the jewelry or sunglasses. Thank uh, God. 
<laughs> just happened that I took a bunch of sunglasses with me anyway, and we made it through. We did have a, a couple of drinks at that bar. It's a really met, good bar. Met another really nice couple. Um, also the, um, there on an anniversary. It was nice to sit and chat with them. This particular store, um, you can see there's t-shirts and flip-flops and uh, swim trunks. And, and they have cigars as well. Yeah, it, it, and the basic toiletries if you need them. If you did happen to forget something, um, there's suntan lotion and things like that right there. And right around the corner inside the shop is where the photography section is. Um, they'll have people walking around and taking your photos. And if you decide you want to get those photos, and they're really nice and professional. We actually got some. Um, that's where you'll get those. Yep. Then you'll take a left out of here. Um, to the left-hand side right here is a place we went for excursions. Um, you go in there, pop in, sit down uh, with that nice young lady. Super Tell her what easy. you're looking for, and she can book those for you. There is an option for a rental car here. We did not um, choose to get a rental car. We didn't need one for this particular trip, but that is an option if you want it. And just to go back to the excursions, if you pop in there, uh, say you didn't pre-plan any excursions, um, you don't need to worry about that. Um, she will help you. She's super nice. She's, the, the instructions she gives you, there's no confusion. It's really easy. So we're walking along the back area now um, on the beach side. You're going to see to the left um, a coffee cafe. Um, there are some treats in there as well and gelato, um, which is a nice little place to uh, jump in, especially when it's warmer in the afternoon. We went in there several times actually for coffee um, in the mornings. And they, every day they'll have different snacks and desserts in there and they change it every day. Yeah. We had a lot. <laughs> we always do. That's what vacation's for. <laughs> um, but again, the customer service is top notch. People are extremely Really friendly. clean as well. Clean and, and tiny, but you get in and you get back out and there just weren't uh, crowds of people everywhere. Uh, next to this, this is one of my favorites. So this is uh, Grazzi. Um, they have pizza there. Um, it is an Italian restaurant takeout. as well, but there is pizza in this window. It's a pizza takeout window. Um, and you can, we, we went there quite a bit. And it's connected to the, the Italian fine dining restaurant as well. Yeah. Um, but we would just pop over there for some pizza. We could take it to our room. We could take it to the pool. We could take it to the beach. We could sit right here in these comfy chairs. And we did do that a few times. These cute little ones, you see a couple over here to the left, um, provided a little bit of shade for us. They're almost like a couch. Uh, we were able to sit in there, have a couple of drinks and, um, enjoy our pizza. Yeah. And I'll tell you right before the sun sets, Man, it was such an amazing time just to kind of chill out over there, have a drink, and just relax. It was awesome. Do I dare say romantic? He's, he's not a big <laughs> romantic guy, but, but it was. The sun setting, and you're just enjoying each other's company. You don't pay extra for those, and they just were very nice. Uh, we're zooming in here now to my favorite part. This is the Diamond Club pool. You can see there's a swim up pool, swim up bar um, at that pool. Uh, we spent a lot of our time in this particular pool. There is more pools uh, here, and he's kind of panning around. And then we will walk down and show you one of the other ones. Um, but a really good time there for sure. Um, at that particular pool and at that swim up bar. That is also behind that swim up bar is where Robert was talking about uh, one day that they grilled the steak and potatoes. Um, they'll have little buffet, buffet lines back there with fresh grilled food that you can partake in. And again, no additional charge for that. Um, as you go down the steps, you can see this is an identical pool to the right. Um, that is not for Diamond Club. It is still uh, adult only. All, uh, everybody. It's access for anyone. A, anyone can go to it, uh, whereas the Diamond Club one is just for Diamond Club. Um, but uh, in the pool behind us now, um, there's water aerobics and there's just events that go on really early in the morning. Uh, but then there's just leisure swimming as well. And right here, you can rent certain things like kayaks and stuff like that. We also didn't do that on this particular trip. So he's panning pretty quick. You can see they're Sorry. cleaning everywhere. Uh, there was a hot tub to the right. We kind of skimmed over pretty quickly. Um, Another swim up bar at the at the public area. And next to that swim up bar, which he's going to right now, there's actually a bar in the corner back there as well. I think we're going to walk over there and head over there. Um, and again, if you're not a drinker, obviously just get non-alcoholic drinks, but there is accessibility for, for things to drink. And there's our hot tub. 
and right past the hot tub, I didn't really get it. I'm get right there. That's where you can get towels. Yeah, you can get towels also free of charge. Um, just go get as many towels as you want. There are locker rooms, there are showers, bathrooms, all accessible right here on this level. Um, and again, everything is spotless. I mean, just absolutely beautiful and very clean. Um, and again, this is early in the morning. I think we were the early birds and everyone else was hung over. So you're not seeing a ton of people here. Um, so this is really, uh, about it for the walkthrough. I hope we were able to hit all the areas for you. Um, there was probably a couple areas that we didn't get like the sports bar and some of the inside stuff, but this is a, this will give you a really good idea of what you're looking at. So as you can see, this, this was an amazing resort. We were there, I think, what, five, five days, six days, something, something like that. that. Um, really amazing. There was some things that I liked. There was one or two things I didn't care for. Um, we haven't talked yet to really go over that. So this is kind of impromptu. She has no clue what I'm gonna say. I have no clue what she's gonna say. Um, overall, for me personally, Man, this was such a good trip. This is one of, this is probably my top three or top five trips of all time. And you know, we've been everywhere, all over the world. So what I liked overall, well, there's two things that immediately pop in my head. First of all, when you get there and you walk into that lobby, it is a wow factor. It's so just everything about work, the the world just dissipates immediately. So I love that fact that this resort, they really have a good wow factor from beginning to end. And to kind of segue into that, the biggest thing that I noticed was just the customer service overall. Everything we did, they were so helpful. They were so genuine. They went the extra mile. We personally we did the Diamond Club uh, upgrade, which I, I do recommend. Um, you get a butler service. I've never had a butler ever. I thought this was amazing. This guy was doing everything for Omar. us. Omar. He was mm -hmm. so amazing. Um, I would definitely recommend that. But just customer service, the wow factor, um, the food was great. Um, to talk a little bit about the things that I didn't care for, there's only two things that I can really think of. Um, and one of them may be silly. I don't know. Maybe it's just the guy in me. I don't know. The elevators. There were times you would get a little bit of a log jam at the elevator area in the lobby. I think they had, what, four elevators mm -hmm. there? Um, so in the evening when everybody was gonna be out at the bars, having some fun and enjoying themselves, you may have to wait a while for the elevator. So that was kind of a pain a little bit. And the only other thing that really I thought could have been better, and it's kind of crazy to say, um, so, you know, they have five kind of like specialty dining restaurants. They have more than just that. They have a sports bar and stuff like that. But the Mexican restaurant, I was really surprised. I just didn't think it was that good. I wouldn't say it was horrible or anything, but, um, you know, I was in Cancun, Mexico. I really thought the, the Mexican restaurant was going to be the, the best one. Um, I probably would say it was my least favorite. The, the Asian restaurant there um, was probably my favorite. So... What do you got, Wilson? So, no surprise at all that the Asian restaurant's your favorite because that's his favorite pretty much anywhere <laughs> we go. But, and I don't always agree, not that I don't love Asian food, I do. I just don't love it as much as he does. We've been married 25 years. This was our 25th wedding anniversary. A uh, gift to each other was this particular trip. Um, so, the fact that I'm saying that I also agree the Asian restaurant was my favorite is not at all normal so and she had sushi I she did. does not eat sushi I did. and there's hilarious pictures of me like really <laughs> afraid to like put it in my mouth and then i realized <laughs> i'm just gonna give it a whirl um and i liked it i really liked it so uh, the asian restaurant was definitely my favorite restaurant uh, not my favorite moment of the entire time and this is silly and the more videos of us you watch you'll get to know my personality a little bit i like to have a little bit of fun um i had a mimosa or two or however many was appropriate for that morning uh, every morning when I woke up and um, I am also a nurse by trade I work really hard in the job that I do outside of this um, so at this vacation on this vacation at Royal Tinshig uh, kind of what Robert was alluding to I was able to disconnect a hundred percent to that um, I was able to disconnect from the world and and just everything going on in healthcare right now and sit there and enjoy my husband enjoy my mimosa and this breathtaking, amazing view. 
you are up on, I don't remember if it was the third story. Third you or fourth, yeah. literally are just looking at the ocean. The waves are crashing in, and all you can see is sand, ocean, and palm trees. The sunrise. With the sunrise. Oh, it was amazing. So, uh, playfully, with all my coworkers back home, I posted a picture every single morning of morning breakfast. And um, some of them loved me for it. <laughs> some of them hated me for it. Um, but it was a fun little game we played. And, I mean, just honestly... To me, if you're going to go on vacation, I, there's so many important things. It's the culture, it's the environment, it's the weather, it's the activities. Um, but really that ability to disconnect for me to feel like I'm recharging my battery so that I can get back to my life when I do come back, but enjoying every single moment of while I'm there. So as silly as that is, you can get a mimosa anywhere, right? But I can't get that ambiance and I can't get that feeling anywhere you know with what my else? mimosa. Everything we did, we were pampered. Oh, absolutely. I remember just, you know, there they had the attendant. We would go outside and we had our chairs and we would be by the beach with the palm trees. And every morning, the attendant made sure we got the same chairs. Uh, it was just the customer service there was amazing. The customer service is awesome. Uh, two, two things about the customer service. One is... That was my first introduction to the WhatsApp. I'm sure a lot of people have used the WhatsApp. I had not at that time. And Omar, who was our butler, said, "Get on the let's get on the WhatsApp. And he helped me get on it really quick. And he communicated with me, uh, both of us, but it just happened to be me that had the app on my phone, communicated with us constantly throughout our trip, not to an annoying level, Set up but into a, a check-in level. Uh, there was one time we had said we wanted dinner, and I don't remember the time. Say it was 7.30. Our plans changed. We mm -hmm. had to change that time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Mrs. Raspberry, not a problem. What time would you like to come? I mean, and I didn't have to leave my beach chair. I'm in my bathing suit, in my beach chair, enjoying the sun, and just saying, hey, I'd like to have dinner later. Send. And that was it. Yeah. There was nothing else to it, which was amazing. Something you didn't touch on, I'm shocked you didn't ch touch on, was the donut tree. Again, oh, yeah. silly, really ridiculous, <laughs> but just those little touches that, that you know, <clears throat> as you're relaxed and you're having a good time, same mimosa breakfast. Um, they had a donut tree, which we have pictures of somewhere. Maybe we can flash it on the screen yeah, if we can. Um, but it literally was um, just a stand, a wooden stand with, you know, little sticks sticking out with donuts all around it. Um, we'd go get our breakfast, go get whatever we wanted. It was basically kind of like a, a buffet style um, with a bunch of different themes going on. You picked what mm -hmm. you wanted. And then as you're sitting there enjoying yourself, this donut tree would come by. Um, and although I didn't eat the donuts, I loved it. I don't know. I was like a kid in a candy <laughs> store. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And one other thing, I, I could probably sit here for half an hour bringing up other things that we love there because I, I swear I could only think of the two things that I didn't like. Uh, another thing, and it goes into the Diamond Club. The Diamond Club is just an extra service. Um, you get a private area, a private pool area. You get a little more access to the, the resort. Uh, plus, you get the butler service. Um, so for the Diamond Club, during lunchtime near the Swim Up Bar, they would also have like a lunch area for all the Diamond Club members. I remember one day we had steak and potatoes for lunch, and they were grilling it out there. Um, that was really cool. That was a nice little touch as well. So it's really difficult for me to come up with a negative. I mean, all the way down even to the flights and everything else. This is a super quick trip from Houston. If you can get to Houston in a, in a nice, easy way, whether you're driving, flying, whatever you're doing, you literally just pop on a plane. You're in Cancun mm -hmm. before you know it. Yeah. Um, you will hear some overall um, cultural differences about when you get off the plane. There's a lot of people kind of coming at you. We'll have to do a, a video on we'll the get airport on another video and really about talk that. through that to let everybody know. It can be a little chaotic, but if you know what you're doing, it's super easy. But out, outside of that, that stuff didn't bother me. We've been we've been to a lot of countries that didn't really bother me. Um, outside of that, uh, nothing but positive things to say for sure. One just observation again: the nurse and me. I'm going to come into this safety piece. Um, it's hysterical because no one got hurt. But uh, around the pool, when it's wet and oh, everyone's yeah. drinking, we saw quite a few people fall. They have marble floors. Yeah, and it got stuff, really so slick and it got really can, wet. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'm already self conscious walking around in a bathing suit and yeah, all I'm yeah. thinking is, oh my gosh, please don't <laughs> fall in this bathing suit and that end up on YouTube. Um, but again, uh, did not see an injury, didn't see anyone get hurt, but just an awareness if you do happen to go there. Um, just be really cautious yeah. by the pool, especially once it's wet. It is very slippery. And the last thing I just wanted to bring up, because it wasn't in the walkthrough, 
is it's in a great location because if you want to go to downtown Cancun, it was what, maybe an eight minute walk from, from the hotel. Easy walk. It was super easy. Um, right down the street. There's also a couple little uh, convenience stores and stuff like that if you forgot something on your, you know, your flight or whatever. Um, super easy. So that's something that wasn't in the walkthrough is downtown Cancun is just an easy, easy walk to get to. And street tacos. We could probably do another video. Yeah, we'll on have that to do too. another video. They have some amazing street tacos. Yeah. Uh, you just have to know where to look. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Overall, I mean, if you said, Melissa, here's a ticket, get on the plane today, I'd be on it. <laughs> I'd be ready to go. So thank you for being with us today and letting us talk a little bit about Cancun and the things about the Royalton that we loved. Um, please give us a like, please subscribe. It helps us build what we're doing. It helps us get more and more information out there. Please add comments or any questions you have. We would love to give you more information. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Bye.